Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for story time. My name is Miss Julie and I work for the Schenectady County Public Library. Today our story time is about those creepy, crawly, spiky, spiny bugs. I have some stories to share with you. I have a flannel board and I also have some of my very own creepy crawlies that we can take a close look at. So to get started, I would love to sing my welcome song. So we use sign language. We get two friends, one, two, and they give each other a hug. And the sign for hello is waving out from your forehead. It goes like this. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Let's get started. The first book I want to share with you today is called Some Bugs by Angela Dieterlisi. This is a Beach Lane Books publication. What do you see on this page? There's a ladybug and a cat. There's also a magnifying glass, a net to catch bugs, I think we're going to see some pretty creepy crawly bugs in this book. Some bugs sting. Some bugs bite. Some bugs stink. And some bugs fight. Some bugs flutter. Some bugs crawl. Some bugs curl up in a ball. Some bugs hop. Some bugs glide. Some bugs swim. And some bugs hide. See all these bugs hiding? There's so many to spot. Some bugs click. Some bugs sing. Some bugs do a buzzing thing. Some bugs build building a nest. Some bugs make, some bugs hunt, and some bugs take. Look at these ants. It's amazing how much they can carry, huh? Stinging, biting, stinking, fighting. Hopping, gliding, swimming, hiding, building, making, hunting, taking. Bugs are oh so fascinating. So kneel down close. Look very hard. And find some bugs in your backyard. Wow, look at that. The back of the book names every bug you saw. That's called a snake fly, a white fly, a dog tick, an earwig. Ooh, those, those creep me out. A bumblebee, a yellow jacket. So many different bugs. So now I want to sing a funny, silly, goofy song with you. It's called, A Fly Is On My Toe. So I'm going to sing and we have to get the fly off of our toe, but that silly little thing lands somewhere else. Would you like to sing with me? Okay. A fly is on my toe, a fly is on my toe, oh no, watch me blow, a fly is on my toe. <sighs> that silly little thing. Landed on my elbow. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my elbow. 
Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my nose. A fly is on my nose. Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my nose. Do you want to sing that silly song with me again? All right, is everybody ready to get your toes? A fly is on my toe. A fly is on my toe. Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my toe. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my elbow. Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my elbow. A fly is on my nose. A fly is on my nose. Hi ho, watch me blow. A fly is on my nose. <sighs> the next book I want to read is called Snappy Little Bugs. It's a pop up book. Ooh, what a lot of butterflies. See them dive and skitter. They fly around the pretty flowers. Flitter, flutter, flitter. Snail is slow. So when he's scared within his shell, he'll hide. When the danger has passed him by, he'll slide, slide, slide. Here is little squiggly worm. He likes to crawl and wiggle. What if you try to catch him? Then he'll wriggle, 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 wriggle. These dragonflies are so quick. They might give you a start. Watch them flash from here to there. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Caterpillar climbs a tree, but he never falls. Always looking out for food, he crawls, crawls, crawls. Beetle loves to rush around. She's not slow or subtle. Here she comes, there she goes. Scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Spider's feeling hungry now. Her mouth begins to grin. She'll weave a web and catch some flies. Spin, spin, spin. Get this fly looks nervous. Three little ladybugs are playing hide and seek. One pops her head out. Peek, peek, peek. The bees are buzzing off to find where all the pollen is. They work all day, they zoom away. Whiz, whiz, whiz! The grasshoppers just love to jump. Will they ever stop? Leaping through the grass so green. Hop, hop, hop. Now I'd like to do a ladybug flannel board with you, but first we have to count to the number five together. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. Very good. So now we're going to give our ladybug five black spots. Are you ready? Little red bug. Oh, so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. Now you go and have some fun with your spot. Your very first one. Little red bug. Oh, so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. It's so nice to own a few. So enjoy these lovely two. Little red bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. We are very pleased to see how very nice you look with three. Little red bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. You might feel you need some more. So we'd like to give you four. Last one. Little red bug, oh so cute. Here's a black spot for your suit. Oh my goodness sakes alive, you look wonderful with five. So for this book, we are reading Worms for Lunch because we are going to be looking at some worms after this story. It's by Leonid Gore and it's a Scholastic Books publication. Who eats worms for lunch? Not me! Do you eat worms for lunch? No. I like cheese. Yummy.
I like a nice little mouse for lunch? Or a big bowl of milk? Meow. Milk is good, but I like to munch fresh green grass for lunch. Doesn't everyone? Grass? Not me. I like crunchy seeds for lunch. Delicious. Seeds are much too dry for me. I love to sip the sweet, sweet nectar of a flower. Bzzz. I love spaghetti. Yum! Me too. And I love ice cream even more. Me too! Ice cream for lunch? Not me. I prefer fresh fish, of course. Get that fish in his mouth. And what do fish like? Hmm. Does that look right? A banana and a carrot? No. Fish love wiggly, wiggly worms for lunch. Yum, yum. Uh-oh. You can't eat me. I'm a character in this book. Bye. <laughs> I like worms, too. The end. So every spring, I like to borrow a bucket of worms from my friend, Mrs. Gifford. She composts, and she has lots of different worms in her compost bin. So she said she could spare a jar for me this year to show you some of these worms up close and personal. Has anyone ever picked up a worm? They're the easiest to find after it rains. There's a lot of little worms in here. A lot of little baby worms. Let me see if I can find one. Look at that. Look at all of those worms. They like it warm, so if it gets a little bit warmer, they'll wiggle around a little bit more. So that's all the story time fun I have for us today. If you have not yet, please join our Facebook group. It's SCPL Youth and Families. That's where you can hear about all of our upcoming events and other story times like today. But for now, it's time to sing our goodbye song. So we have our two friends and the sign for goodbye. It's opening and closing your hand like that. It goes like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends, it's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. I gotta go wash my hands. I'll see you next week.